Hi Taurus, this is Whispers in the Wind and this will be your reading for the month of May 2023. The deck that I use is a Rider Waite deck by Pamela Coleman Smith and Arthur Waite. And yes, I use reverse cards and if any cards jump out, I use those also. Now the overall energy for the whole month talks about you wanting to get out in nature, wanting to enjoy beauty and find security and serenity in your surroundings. And it does talk about you having to make a choice between two things, two people, a choice that is going to be significant to your life path. Perhaps you're having to choose stability or home and family over adventure and mobility. There is a lot of movement, but perhaps not a lot of security at this point in time. Now it also talks about two people in a partnership and perhaps one person is wealthier than the other. The differences, there are differences in their spiritual beliefs. Or perhaps one person is more committed to a relationship or to moving into a new environment. So there's something that is kind of getting in the middle between a partnership, perhaps in a couple, perhaps a love romance, perhaps a, a marriage. There is some circumstance that is kind of getting in the middle. Perhaps, perhaps you're not believing the same spiritual beliefs as your partner. Perhaps you're not wanting to move where your partner wants to move. Now there does talk about there being a move that's coming up and it's a place that you're going to a place that is going to bring about more serenity and security into your environment and it's going to be very fulfilling and it's going to fulfill those deep emotional and spiritual needs that you have. But perhaps your partner's not agreeing or perhaps it's vice versa and perhaps you are not agreeing with your partner. It also talks in that month of May 2023 that you don't allow yourself to be pushed into making a decision that you're not ready to make because good things take time. So let's move into the first couple of days of that first week and it does talk about you going through a period of subconscious anxiety. It possibly is related to personal history, a personal history of hardship that you have dealt with over the years. It also talks that perhaps you're feeling like you can't discuss things that have taken place in your life or perhaps any sign of weakness in your persona because you feel that that makes you not look all together and so you're kind of like focused on what other people are personifying in you what other people are thinking of you are other people thinking that you're strong that you're resilient that you're determined that you did well in your life and you're getting worn out you're depressed perhaps you're going through a period of insomnia it does talk about you needing to talk to someone if you do talk to someone that will help clear things up and indeed it's always good to find clarity in our life now, it could also talk about you taking on other people's problems, other people's issues. Now, it does talk about there being some type of problem with a female energy in your life, someone who is possibly dealing with a reproductive issue in their life, okay? And perhaps you're dealing with worries about them. That could be a child, that could be a, a partner, that could be a friend, that could be a family member. So let's move into the middle two days of that first week because it does talk about financial difficulties. It talks about not being able to get the resources you need. There are financial issues that are coming up and perhaps you're not having that extra monetary uh, benefit that you would need to move forward in a project or a situation. Perhaps you're wanting to move or perhaps you're wanting to relocate and buy a new home of sorts. And maybe you don't have the down payment that you need in order to apply for that mortgage. But there is something that is taking place financially that is stopping you from moving forward in an effort to find some um, surroundings that are more secure. So as I said, perhaps you're buying a home or property. But if you're willing to put the effort in, you are going to, you are going to get that. You are going to get that financial support. Definitely, it is a time where, you know, your spirit guides are, are going to help you. They want you to move out of a, a situation where you are, where you don't feel secure, where you never felt secure, where you never wanted to be in the first place. You always wanted that peacefulness and that serenity, but you weren't able to accommodate it because of the fact that you had to work, you had to feed your, your, if you were married and you had children, you had to feed your family, you had to take care of your job, and perhaps your job was at a distance. And now, now you're thinking, okay, now is my time. Now is my time to get back to, to grounding. Maybe you need to ground. Maybe you need to go from where you came from. Maybe you need to go back to your roots. And a lot of us do. And that is coming up so much in the cards for so many of the, of the signs. It's unbelievable. 
In the last two days of that first week, it talks about a fire sign, a Leo, an Aries, or a Sagittarius. And they're the type of person who's very kind of like cocky, but very fearless, and they go after what they want. They're very enterprising. Perhaps somebody has invented something or started a new business or a goal. And perhaps they're asking you to get involved in it, either in a relationship for this business or in an endeavor that they are starting or a business they're starting. But it does talk about you becoming more active. Now it also talks about possibly focusing on your health and your fitness, possibly starting a, a walking routine or joining a gym. Now it does talk about a large amount of money coming to you possibly from a fire sign individual. It talks about you being highly self-reliant, having to be very competitive. So possibly you're applying for a job or maybe you're applying for a certain particular property and there's a lot of people who are applying for it and so you're having to outbid them. It also talks about you expanding your social network, perhaps even taking a course. Maybe you're going to change your line of study or maybe you're going to change your work skills. But it does talk about expanding your life in some way when it comes to employment or when it comes to work or when it comes to education. It also talks about a mutual attraction that's taking place in your life, whether it be romantic or whether it be in a business endeavor. It does talk about going to the past, going someplace where you've been before to do something new. Talks about a new project, perhaps getting involved in so social clubs or service clubs, sports clubs, close net groups that have um, the same goals and the same values. So we're in that second week. And in that second week, there's a lack of understanding circling around you, a lack of commitment, a lack of guidance, perhaps even loneliness, feeling displaced, feeling like you don't have any security, a lack of understanding of what it is you're trying to achieve. It even can talk about a loss of a job, a relationship, or a partnership. It does, it does talk of a bad relationship with a female figure in your life, a female authority figure in your life, whether that be a sister, an aunt, a grandmother, a daughter. There is tensions in relationships with female energy in your life. So there are problems circling around your relationships with possibly a, a partner, a mother, an aunt, a sister, a grandmother, a daughter. Now, as you're looking into that second week, as you're moving into that second week, you haven't quite left the first two days of the second week, but it's almost like someone is seeking out your guidance. They're seeking out your guidance, or they're seeking out a female's guidance. Perhaps you are seeking out your mother's guidance, or your sister's guidance, or um, your aunt's guidance, okay? But it is a female energy that possibly you are asking for their advice, asking for their opinion. And it does stop, talk about a strong bond of motherhood with this person. However, it did say that you had or possibly had a relationship that was strained with a mother figure in your life, possibly because you felt like you didn't live up to her standards. So it does talk about having to find a positive role model. And it does talk about issues with or pertaining to a maternal figure in your life. It also talks about an over-idealized over -ide <laughs> over image of marriage and romance and how a woman should behave. So someone might be laying down some law or someone might be thinking that possibly uh, a female in their life is not really acting appropriately. Now that could be you thinking that of someone else or that could be someone thinking that of you because I don't know what gender you are, whether you're male, female, or other. So it does talk about finances coming in. There is someone that has thought about your, your happiness or your financial freedom and so possibly someone who has crossed over has left you an inheritance or left you something financially uh, that is going to help you in some way. Maybe even a property that you could sell and it could be just maybe they left you a car. Maybe they left you a car. Maybe they left you some land. Maybe they left you something that was antique and you sell it and you gain some accolades from that. But it does talk about wealth 
It talks about gifts. It talks about favor. It talks about productivity. Now, productivity, I mean, that could mean the fact that maybe you've started a new job and you're gaining more financial prowess with that new job. But it also talks about you using something that was either left to you or that you inherited or that was given to you as a gift, using that or finances from a new job, using that resource to help and heal other people who are dealing with some trauma in their life to aid and comfort other people. Now it does talk about an authority figure in your life who is going to help you and that may be somebody who's crossed over but that also could be somebody who is in your circle of energy. It could be a boss, it could be a mentor, it could be a mother. It does talk about you having to assume a leadership role and it also talks about you having to work through your issues when it comes to a maternal figure in your life. You're having to work through your issues, you're having to look at them in detail and then, you know what, release them into the ethers and don't dwell on them anymore. So let's move into the middle two days of that second week. The middle two days of that second week, it talks about you taking on too many responsibilities, you're overwhelmed. You're uneasy about making decisions because you're overwhelmed. You're focused on too much. You're having to postpone a very tough decision until you feel more confident or more experience or possibly more maturity. It does talk about you and a partner being pulled in two different directions. And you're trying not to be unreliable in your promises to other people, perhaps to your partner. But you need to adjust your schedule in order to help someone else. It does talk about having to set priorities. It does talk about, you know, having to slow down because there is some confusion. So you need to focus. You need to focus, Taurus. That is your key word for that second week is focus. One thing at a time. Last two days of that second week, it talks about someone who's trying to prove themselves in some capacity in the outer world. And perhaps they've always been looking for that type of acknowledgement. Now that might be a child of yours or that could be yourself. Since it did talk about the relationship you had with a maternal figure was shaky. And perhaps you didn't feel like you lived up to the standards of a maternal figure. And so you've, you've kind of dealt with it your whole life where you've always been looking for someone to acknowledge that you did all right, that you did good, that you did what you needed to do, that you're smart, that you're, you're intelligent, that you're uh, determined, that you persevere, and you never got that. So you're always looking for someone to give you that acknowledgement. Now that could be a child of yours. Maybe they had a rough relationship with their parental figures and they never received those accolades. They always felt like they had to strive to make their parental figure proud of them. This person is trying to prove their worth, their competence, and they're getting bogged down in the details. They're very focused on those rigid, trivial details. They're focused on stuff that doesn't even matter because they think if they don't focus on it, people are going to say that they're not serious minded. Now it also talks about someone who's looking elsewhere for work. So possibly someone in your life, maybe a child, maybe yourself, maybe your partner is looking for a new line of work in a new location. They're not happy where they are. Now it does talk about you getting involved, but there's obstacles. There's obstacles to being involved in possibly a, a job that you want to get involved in because maybe you need to upgrade your skills or maybe you need to get extra courses in order to upgrade your skills and to get noticed. But it definitely talks about having to focus on the details in a resume and look at all the factions of your life, the jobs that you have done, and make sure that you're accommodating all those experiences that you have in your res resume. So it talks about upgrading in some way. Last two days of that second week. Wow, you got a lot going on. You got a lot going on for sure. But it does talk about someone in your life whose energies are very narrowly focused, like I said, on the trivial details. They're not focused on the big picture. They're focused on the tiny little details. And as I said, circumstances are going to prevent possibly your full involvement or their full involvement. Now this could be someone who was involved in um, construction of sorts, maybe building things, maintenance. Perhaps someone is wanting to get into construction. They're wanting to learn how to build a home. Or maybe this is someone who actually did this job before and was a house builder before or was involved in some type of construction as a, as a four person, as a, 
a handy person, whether it be male, female, or other. I mean, there are women who are in the construction field, and I know many of them. So it could be either sex. But it does talk about possibly you wanting to build something and having to maybe reach out to a bank um, or some or get involved in fundraising of sorts to find the finances to build. It does talk about retail, it talks about real estate, perhaps even food production. Maybe you're wanting to buy a farm or maybe you're wanting to build uh, a barn. Maybe you're wanting to build a farmhouse. I, I don't know, okay? This is a general reading, but it does talk about possibly food production. So maybe you're wanting to build a stand where you can sell your vegetables, or maybe you're wanting to build uh, a greenhouse, or maybe you're wanting to uh, buy a greenhouse and put it up on your property, the new property that you've moved to. But indeed, it does talk about having to focus on the finances. You're having to focus on the finances. If you want to do all these things, you're going to need the coin. And you did receive some type of a gift, financial, that brought in some financial accolades. So perhaps you're going to sell something to indeed build your dream. And your dream might be a farm. But it does talk about you contributing to culture in some way. Perhaps you're going to donate. Or perhaps you're going to get involved in construction. Now, there is something called... Um, Houses for the needy or something like that. And maybe you're going to get involved in Houses for Humanity. Maybe you're going to get involved in working for Houses for Humanity where you're going to build homes for people who are homeless or low income. I'm not sure how this fits in with you. But that would be a wonderful goal be a wonderful goal and it does talk about you being very patient you're very patient very dependable and very goal orientated but it does talk about you having to plan for the future and emergencies that may take place in the future it also talks about possibly you being the type of person that is very plain and simple in your in your dress in your attire in your mannerism but perhaps you have um, I wouldn't say luxuries, but you like the best. You don't like, when you're buying butter, you don't buy the no-name brand butter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you like the best, but you're very plain. You're kind of like a plain Jane type of energy, okay, where you're focused on more important things than um, what you have. So it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. It doesn't hurt to have uh, quality stuff, okay? So let's move into... Let us move into the third week, because in that third week, I see a family. I see family energy taking place here. And I see um, it's a family dynamic. It's three people who are possibly, possibly you have a child that's moving home with you. And possibly they're moving home with you because they're moving into a new job. Or maybe they lost their apartment. Or maybe they lost their job. There was downsizing. And so they're restructuring their life. And so they're counting on you Perhaps you're a parental figure. They're counting on you to help them. Now, if it's not you that's a parental figure, perhaps you're the child and you're moving home to be live with your parents. And perhaps that's creating some conflict. Now, there may be some energy taking place here. The first energy comes up with uh, the male energy in the family, okay? And that would be a father, um, a guardian, whatever it may be. But it is male authority energy. And it talks about relationship issues because one person perhaps yourself and this parental figure, are having issues because of finances, okay? Because maybe perhaps your parent has been very cautious with money and you haven't. And so your parent is trying to install that in you, instill that in you that, you know, finances are important to look after. You have to think about your security in the future. So that might be something that is taking place in your life. And perhaps your parental figure is kind of putting conditions on the help that you need. You're asking them for money and they're saying, okay, listen, I want to know exactly what this money is going for. And I want to see proof that that's what it went for. So they want you to prove yourself to them almost, okay? And it's almost like you have, at, and this was throughout the whole, I think it was the first week. It was talking about the fact that possibly you were feeling like you had to prove yourself to people. And indeed, you know what? You do. In that, in that third week, you're having to prove yourself. You're having to prove the truthfulness of the things that you want to do and the viability of the things that you want to do. But indeed, you're having to prove that you are going to utilize what is given to you in the appropriate way. Then we move into the middle part of that 
third week. And in the middle part of that third week, there is issues coming up with a female family member, whether that be a, a mother, it's an authority figure. So whether it be a mother, a guardian, um, an aunt, a sister, okay? And this person is very focused on social expectations. Their world has become very narrow. And it could also be a parent perhaps your maternal parent is kind of hypercritical, but they have learned to be that way. Perhaps you have given them reason to be hypercritical of the things that you do or you invest your time in or your money, because perhaps they haven't seen any positive uh, attributes that come from giving you money or giving you help. And so I, I kind of see that you're being taken to task. You're being taken to task. But it also talks about a fear of closeness in a relationship. And it also talks about issues pertaining to self-sufficiency. So perhaps you have always felt like you had to be financially secure in your life in order to gain um, acknowledgement from your parental figures or perhaps from a maternal figure in your life, whether it be a mother, whether it be an aunt, whether it be a sister. Maybe you feel like you've never lived up to the standards that perhaps uh, a sibling did. Maybe you were always kind of like left in the dark, okay, where a sibling was always achieving and always receiving accolades from the parents and, and you know, they were bragging about the sister and, the, and they were bragging about, you know, how well she did and perhaps you are the male energy, maybe you're the male energy of this situation and maybe you're feeling like, like, uh, what's the point in trying because like no matter what I try it's not good enough right and I've I've seen that I've seen that where there's been specific individuals in a family dynamic whether it be a daughter or a, or a son and where there was maybe three siblings or six siblings and always always the younger siblings were kind of left in the lurch the younger siblings were not given the accolades that the older siblings were and so they were kind of like pushed to the side they weren't as important and it can I've seen this where it continued into the future where those children developed uh, almost like a learned helplessness but indeed they were very emotional needy because of the fact that they were pushed to the side and there was always one the oldest or the or you know the oldest of either either gender was always the one that were were given the accolades, the pats on the back, and maybe you are feeling this way. Maybe you're feeling like you never received that acknowledgement, and so possibly you're having a hard time with relationships in your life. It could be. It doesn't necessarily have to be, but it could be. I mean, this is a general reading. Last week, in the last week, third week was all around relationships dealing with the family, okay, with the family dynamic between three people, three energies. But in that last week, it's talking about having to decide between two choices. You have two choices here. Invitations, two projects, maybe two choices of education, two colleges, two jobs, two places where you want to live, two ways of living. But you have a desire to go with whatever is more familiar. Stay in close to home or to ground zero. You know what I'm saying? But it does talk about you going to school and working some, working some time. So maybe taking a part-time job or a casual job. It does talk about having to divide your time and your emotions and your energy between two families or two jobs, two courses of study, two friends, two children. So you're possibly having to modify your plans to do with a, a spouse or a partner, perhaps at work. But it does talk about each partner needs to be acknowledged as an individual, but also part of a family unit or a couple. Now it does talk about you having prosperity and power as you move into the last week of May 2023, but don't misuse it. Treat everyone equally and seek cooperation from all and compromise. Perhaps you need to seek help from influential people. Maybe you even need to get some feedback on your ideas or your goals or your job contacts. You need to get some feedback on what it is you're planning on doing. But it also talks about exciting, exciting job opportunities and rewarding interactions coming into your circle of energy where you're meeting people. Perhaps you've, uh, you know, you've moved to a new location, you've applied for a bunch of jobs, you get two choices and two jobs, you get offered two properties, you have to make a decision on that. But through all this change in your life and this transition in your life and this new adventure in your life, you're meeting new people. And it's vying good for you because you do have a very rich imagination as you're moving into the middle part of that last week. Your personal desires are manifesting themselves. You're visualizing the life you want. 
You're trying to formulate a plan to get it, and it looks like that plan is developing. It also talks about being very vigilant about not scattering your energies by trying too many things or putting your finger in too many pies. Focus on what is manageable and indeed what is realistic. You're going through a process of change in your life and what was important before is not important anymore. So you can put off decisions until you get more clarity. Don't jump from the fire or from the frying pan into the fire until you check it out. <laughs> I don't know if I'd be jumping into the fire, but be aware of that. But it does talk about a mask falling and you're going to see the illusion behind something, perhaps behind a relationship, behind maybe the illusion behind a circumstance or a living circumstance. And indeed, it is going to carry you into the future. You're going to see beyond that veil of doubt, beyond that veil of untruth. You're going to see the truth behind things and you're going to see the factual data that is coming into place and it's going to help you make a decision. So the very last card you have in the last two days of that last week, wow, inertia, stagnation, loss of permanence, no biggie, maybe, maybe you, uh, maybe you changed your mind about a job and you changed, or maybe you moved, maybe you took one of these jobs and the permanent place where you were living permanently is now gone. Maybe you sold a home. Maybe you sold the property and that's going to bring in some financial power so that you can move to the next level in your life. It does talk about if you if you want to fulfill this big goal or this big dream you're, and complete this big project that you have planned, okay, whether it be to build a farm or whether it be to move to a farm, okay, you have to take all those necessary steps to get there. Don't lose focus, don't slack off, especially now because success is like, you just have to reach out and grab it. So don't lose your focus. Even if there is a frustrating delay that happens in the last two days of that last week of May 2023, if there is a delay because of uh, a delay of money, maybe um, I know in Canada where I live, there, the federal workers are on strike. Maybe you're waiting a check, a waiting on a check, or an investment um, coming back to you, or money coming back to you from the government. And there's a delay. And maybe that's what's stopping you from moving forward. But don't worry, because you will be creative, and you need to be creative in order to move to that next phase. But indeed, you are going to manifest exactly what it is that you have been planning all along. It's going to come in. Be aware of that. Know that you can feel emotionally stable. You are going to be secure. You are going to get, if it's a farm you're planning on buying, well, you better think about buying some, some horses or some animals, because I'm telling you, you are going to be so, so successful. And if it's a farm you want, it's a farm you're going to get. So I shall see you in the next video in June. Take care, be safe, and indeed, do some gardening. Namaste, my friends. Bye-bye.